Hi boys and girls, for math today we're going to get into temperature. So the easiest way to measure a temperature is to say if something is hot or if it's cold. That gets us back into those opposites. And then if we want to measure a, um, a direct kind of temperature, we have different tools to use to measure temperature. So we have our normal this is called the thermometer. This should look very familiar, boys and girls. This was our behavior chart on one side that we were always using. And then on the back side is the thermometer. Now a thermometer has Fahrenheit temperatures and then we have Celsius temperatures. Some countries use Fahrenheit, some countries use Celsius. Um, we use Fahrenheit here in the United States of America. So we're always going to be measuring on this side of the thermometer. But this type of thermometer is not the only way to measure temperature. So the, I have this little thermometer, and this one is what I would use to measure the temperature of what I'm cooking for like candy. This is called a candy thermometer. And so you can see that little measurement in the, in the inside is going to turn red when it gets to the temperature I need. Again, if I turn it this way, you're gonna see that there is an F for Fahrenheit, ooh, I'm getting, there you go, and a C for Celsius. So the black side is Fahrenheit and the red side is Celsius. And that's gonna give me temperature for making my candy. Also, another kind of thermometer, we have this. This is called a meat thermometer. And this is a digital thermometer. So instead of reading it on a chart with the um, red scale going up and then I have to measure where that red scale is, this one, it's going to tell me exactly, just like we have um, the analog clock and we have the digital clock. The analog clock, we have to read ourselves, and we had to see where the hands of the clock were to see what time it is. The um, digital clock tells us exactly what time it was. We just had to read the numbers. So in this thermometer, it's going to read the number. It's going to show us the numbers, and then we're going to read it to see exactly what temperature the meat is. This is called a meat thermometer. So. On this pokey end, I would stick it into my meat and it would tell me what temperature the meat is because that will tell you if your meat is done or not. But for today, we're going to work on back to our regular thermometer. Now, if I look closer, you're going to see that there are numbers. The Celsius goes up slower because they jump in those numbers and they start um, at like zero. And then we start over here and we go up higher quickly. So if I take this temperature and I have it right now, let's move it down just a little bit. If I have it at 80 degrees, do you see that the red ends at the 80? 80 degrees is going to be a pretty nice day. Um, I'm gonna be wearing short sleeves, probably shorts. Um, I'm probably going to put some sunglasses on. It's gonna be pretty sunny. But let me change my temperature on this thermometer to, let's say, let's read it now together. Can you see, oh, I don't like that there. There you go. Can you see what temperature it is on this thermometer? If I look at the red and I go straight over to my number, what temperature is it? It's 30 degrees. 30 degrees is gonna be cold. It is below freezing. Freezing is 32 degrees. So I'm gonna be wearing pants. I'm gonna be wearing a heavy jacket. I might have on a beanie and some mittens. But then if I make my measurement, my thermometer, I'm gonna make it go up high. So sometimes in the summer, we're gonna have days like this that get up to, let's say, ooh, can you read this? All right, so the red stops and we look over at the number and it's 100 degrees. That's gonna be in the middle of summer and it's gonna be really hot and we're probably gonna to wanna to be in the water. And so boys and girls, um, the way to read the thermometer is just to look where the red ends and then go over at the number. You're going to be doing that today in your um, math packet and um, have fun measuring temperature.